Thank you, Sue. Lynn and I try to go out together and exercise every day. Sometimes we go for a long walk and sometimes we're able to go for a bike ride. The John O'Groats Challenge has been a brilliant incentive to get out, especially when the weather has been cold and damp. In the Bible, the word walk is used both physically and metaphorically. Jesus walked and talked with his disciples. Also, we're taught to walk in light and not in darkness. So I thought I would put the word walk into one of the Bible study tools that Keith has been talking about. So I went to Bible Gateway. I found 211 references to the word walk. There were 145 in the Old Testament and there were 66 in the New. So here are a few examples. Genesis 3. Then the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God as he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and they hid from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. And again in Genesis from chapter 6. Noah was a righteous man, blameless among the people of his time, and he walked faithfully with God. Isaiah chapter 9. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. Then from Mark chapter 2. One Sabbath, Jesus was going through the grain fields, and as his disciples walked along, they began to pick some heads of grain. Then from John 8, when Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. And then finally from Luke 24, now that same day, two of them were going to a village called Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem. They were talking with each other about everything that had happened. As they talked and discussed these things with each other, Jesus himself came up and walked along with them. With no cars, bicycles, buses or trains, walking was the main form of transport in the time of Jesus and walking together was a natural time for conversation. Walking today is also a great time for talking with your fellow walkers, but also with God in prayer. And as we travel through life with its ups and downs and unexpected turns, walking with Jesus in the light of Jesus, led by Jesus and reflecting Jesus in our own families, communities, schools and workplaces, is surely the only way to go. Peggy, Rosemary and Katie will now lead us in prayer. Heavenly Father, give strength to the families that have lost their loved ones. Comfort them in their grief and sorrow. Comfort the old and lonely people so they do not feel forgotten. Help the school children of all ages who cannot attend their schools and are becoming stressed and anxious about their future. Also be with their parents. Bless and comfort all the sick people wherever they may be. Lord, in your mercy. Amen.
Heavenly Father, we pray for the NHS, for the nurses, the doctors, who work around the clock trying to save lives. Pray for their safety. Pray for the families who have lost loved ones. We pray that you will show the love and comfort them. We pray for those who are home who are not well. We pray that you will comfort them. Also for, for the homeless, we pray for their safety, for their health and for shelter. We also pray for our church that one day we can meet as a family. I ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Our second song this morning is Be Thou My Vision. Um, I think this is an amazing song, and not just because I like the tune. Um, it seems to be a great statement of intent to make Jesus the focus of every aspect of our life. Um, and also, it's a prayer asking for help in doing that, recognising that it's something that we can't um, do in our own strength, but we need God's help with. Um, so let's be a prayer that we can join in with. Be thou my vision. <laughs> 